You're a loser. Who do you think you are? Where do you think you came from? Did you know you dropped out of college? Do you know that you used to be an alcoholic? Do you know you used to spend all your money within three or four days over the weekend? Do you know you wasted years and years of your life? Have you ever talked to yourself like that? Those are some of the things I used to tell myself all the time when I didn't speak up, when I didn't make the videos, when I didn't launch the course, when I didn't make the products, when I didn't set up the campaigns. That's some of the self-talk that I've had with myself. And guess what? It didn't help me. It didn't help me at all. Today's quick video is what are you telling yourself? Your subconscious, your brain, your mind is always listening, right? What are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself that you're not good enough? Are you telling yourself that's good for them but not good for me? Are you telling yourself that you can't do anything? that you're helpless, that you can't make a change? Are you keeping yourself in a box? Are you keeping yourself limited to your neighborhood? Are you keeping yourself limited to your city where you were born? Are you limiting yourself to what you think life can be because that's all you've ever known? If that's the case, I encourage you to look at and seek information on people that have made a difference in life, that made a difference in other people's lives, that have been successful, whether that's in business or in sports or in music or in anything. If inside of you there's any kind of burning desire to want more, to be more, to do more, then I encourage you to reflect back and look at how you talk to yourself. I learned this from Les Brown. Some of the most important conversations you can have are the ones that you have with yourself. Think back of how you talk to yourself. And if you're not where you want to be in life, you need to start looking at how you're talking to yourself. Over and over and over again, I've talked to myself like I was a piece of crap, like I couldn't do nothing. Oh, you're a failure because you had a divorce. Oh, you're fat. You can't do nothing. Oh, you dropped out of college. No, hell no. Now also be honest. Like I can't go talk to people about being healthy, right? Because I'm still not where I want to be. But I can talk to people about e-commerce. I can talk to people about marketing. I can talk to people about sales. I can talk to people about being a good parent. I can talk to people about what not to do in marriage, stuff like that. Why? Because I've been through those things and I know I'm good at certain things. So what I encourage you to do is look back at your life, study yourself and find out what you're good at and zone in on that stuff. If you want to change your life, remember the Calvary ain't coming and the first step you got to do is look at the man in the mirror the woman the man in the mirror look yourself in the face and know that it's up to you to make the difference it's up to you to make the change it's up to you to make the moves it's up to you to speak up it's up to you to ask for help no one else is going to be there to save you so with that being said look at your life look at how you talk to yourself and start changing how you talk to yourself give yourself credit look at what you've done look at the people you've impacted you've made a difference in other people's lives you just got to look back and think back of what you've done and if you feel like you haven't today's the day you can make a difference you can freaking strike up a conversation make someone laugh help someone be seen there's people out there right now that feel like no one sees them no one cares about them something as simple as a smile give people smiles talk to people listen to their story encourage them because guess what that's just gonna help you so hopefully what I'm saying here helps somebody think about how you've talked to yourself catch yourself and start changing how you talk to yourself so let me share with you something it's crazy when I think back of some of the conversations I've had with myself and I've kept myself from making moves because because I've talked down to myself. And when I think back and I look at things, I've helped a ton of people become millionaires and I forget that. And there's been times where all I could focus on is all the things that I've done wrong, all the mistakes I've made. When I've actually impacted tons of people's lives, and the reason why I know this is because people have reached out to me without anyone even knowing, told me thank you. Thank you. That thing you shared with me changed my life. I bought a house. I made $2 million. I made $40,000. I made $16,000 my first month. And it's human nature to go back and think about all the stuff we've done wrong when we need to focus on all the things we're doing right and hone in on that and dig down on that and harness that for leverage to improve our life. So with that being said, this is Frank Salinas. Never stop improving. Never give up. Always sow good seeds. And we'll see you on the next one.